여러분 안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we are going to talk about Dino versus Node.js. If you don't know what Dino is, Dino is a better, more secure Node.js. So, today I want to give you a quick introduction to the background of Dino, why was it created. Also, we are going to learn what makes Dino more secure and better than Node.js. And I'm going to give you my opinion about the project at the end of the video. So, let's get started with the background. Dino was created by Ryan Doe. Ryan Doe is also the creator of Node.js. So he is a freaking genius. Because he created Node.js, he has some regrets about Node.js and he talks about this on a talk he gave on a conference. And basically he says that there are many things he regrets about Node.js. He could have done many things differently. He regrets doing NPM. He regrets doing Node modules, all these kind of things. He talks on the conference and then he announces that he's going to fix all these problems on a better, different, more secure Node.js. And this is when it's called Dino. Now, what makes Dino secure and better than Node.js? First of all, Dino fixes many of the regrets that Ryan has over Node.js. So for example, Dino doesn't have package.json, it doesn't have node modules, and it doesn't have NPM. And I think that's a good thing. If you look at NPM, everybody uses NPM. NPM install React, NPM install Express, NPM install Vue, NPM everything. And NPM is a centralized place where everybody goes to, but it's a company is a closed source company holding open source files. And we don't elect who runs the company. The company can do whatever they want, but we depend on the company as developers. And as of today, NPM was acquired by GitHub, which means by Microsoft. And while Microsoft nowadays is a cool guy, maybe later they will do something that we don't like and we can't do anything because they own NPM now. So that's not a cool thing. So. What Ryan wants to fix on Dino is the fact that we don't need NPM anymore. On Dino, you don't have to do NPM. If you want to import some code, you can do it like you do it on the browser. You just include a URL and it will be downloaded into your project, which makes it awesome because that means that I can include code from GitHub, from GitLab, from Bitbucket, from a random website, and I can just work. It don't have to depend on NPM to install anything. Also, there is no package.json and there is no node modules. That node modules folder is really not a good idea because it becomes very, very, very heavy the more things you have on that folder and it becomes a mess. You click node modules and you see the modules you have and then you click one module and then that module has another folder node modules and sometimes you don't even know what you are downloading because of so many dependencies and so many folders, which is not so good. So Dino fixes this by just saying there are no node modules, no package.json, no npm, which I think is a good thing. Now, let's talk about security. How is Dino secure and how is Node.js insecure? It's very simple. Look, when you are working in Node.js, you can do npm install, whatever, right? When you download code, that code can be executed in your computer with no limits whatsoever. So for example, you download code in Node.js and you execute it, that code can be deleting a file, it can delete your hard drive, it can copy files, it can spy your network, it can copy your keys, your passwords, it can do whatever it wants because there is no limit to Node.js in your computer. Node.js just runs in your computer. And the thing is that we are not the only ones writing code. Most of the time we just download code from somebody. So that means that we are trusting the code that we are downloading. But if you're a Node.js developer, you know that more than one time you have installed something that you don't really know what it does, right? Something that just you have to download it. And that's not a good idea. And that's insecure because we don't know what we are downloading and we don't have the time to look at every single code that we download. So the way that Dino fixes this is by running your code on a sandbox. And what that means is that now your code is running, but it's isolated from your computer. You can make a piece of code and you have to explicitly tell to Dino that this code is allowed to access your file system, but it's not allowed to connect to the internet. Or you can make another code that you can say, this code is allowed to connect to the internet, but it cannot see my files. So now you can limit the scope of what your code is allowed to do. And it's way more secure, especially when we work with an ecosystem like JavaScript, where everybody is sharing everything and we are installing everything. Yes, it works now because we run on a system of trust, 
but still it has a big pitfall and that is that we download code that we don't know where it comes from we don't know who did it and we're just trusting them that they are not going to delete something install something or copy something from our computer Another cool feature about Dino is the fact that it's a JavaScript and TypeScript runtime. That means that you can use write TypeScript and it will be understood by Dino, which is awesome because TypeScript is taking over the JavaScript world. TypeScript is basically a better JavaScript and everybody should be using TypeScript, right? Also, Dino is built on Rust, which is really cool, Tokyo and C++, which is something cool to know. Now, my opinion about the project. So, should you quit your job and start looking for a job on Dino? No. Should you start making a project on Dino? Yes, a pet project, a side project. Go and start looking at stuff. Start playing with Dino. Dino is not that different from Node.js. Dino is just JavaScript. It's just TypeScript. There is not going to be a book about, let's learn Dino. I mean, they could make it, but it's the same as Node.js because it's just TypeScript and JavaScript. Dino, the code doesn't change. What changes is the infrastructure around the code. So it's not going to take you more than couple hours to understand what Dino does different from Node.js. Now, Dino is in not production ready, is the version is 0. Point something. They don't even have the version 1.0, but they are aiming to have the version 1.0 released before summer of this year. I'm really excited about this project. I really hope it succeeds because I believe competition is healthy, but also I believe that it's so much better than Node.js and I can't wait to start working with it in a professional environment. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. Are you going to use Dino? Do you use Dino already? What do you think about being secure, not having NPM? Do you like Node.js? Are you running away from Node.js? Let me know what you think. What do you want to learn next? What do you want me to talk about? Thank you so much for watching. I want you to know that I really, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate all the energy you give me. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Kamsamnida, Saranheo, don't forget to eat kimchi, wear the mask, wash your hands, we are gonna go through this fucking virus. Bye bye.